One way to think of all this is to think about price as a means of rationing a service. When prices are allowed to adjust freely, and, will, and when both buyers bear the cost themselves and when sellers reap the benefits themselves, economics can help show us how this will allocate scarce resources in an economically efficient manner, i.e. the person who values the service or good the most will end up getting it. But if we decide to sidestep price as a rationing tool, something else will have to take its place as the rationing device if only because there aren't an infinite number of doctors available to do an infinite number of procedures. In other words, there is a finite amount of health care that can actually be provided. So in situations where we've eliminated price as the rationing tool, we use something else. This is most commonly called administrative rationing. This type of rationing essentially puts a limit on how much an insurance enrollee can actually withdraw from the insurance company. One way to do this is for insurance companies to limit the number of times you can go in for a certain treatment before refusing to pay any more money for that treatment. For example, the NHS in Britain will only pay for age-related macular degeneration in one eye. If you want the second eye treated, you'll have to pay for that either entirely out of your own pocket or with separate private insurance. We also see insurance companies deny claims in some situations. A lot of times, this is just known as refusal of service. For example, if you shoot a firework into your eye while you're intoxicated, it's likely that your insurance company will deny your claim and you will have to pay for the treatment out of your own pocket. Remember, the purpose of insurance isn't to pay your medical bills. It's to protect you against risk. Fireworks almost never just randomly shoot into people's eyes, and so it is not a risk per se. It is instead a behavior that is done. Insurance is designed to protect us against risk not against bad outcomes.